angel is coming home. My 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 angel is coming home. <laughs> Sweetie, can you stop? You're making me shy already. <laughs> According to Mama's words, I am not stopping because she is not far from the truth. My angel is right here with me. My angel, my one and only, is coming home. Her would-be daughter-in-law is finally making it home. <laughs> I'm sure your mother's voice will not sound like this. I mean, she'll have the best voice in this whole world. Well, of course, I tried. I tried my best. Mama would say, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. And I quote, listen to me, Ugo Chuku. Not just listen, she said I should hold my ears wide open and listen. <laughs> happy is the man who finds a true friend, but happier is that man who finds a true friend in a wife. Aww. She said, Make sure, Ugo Chuku, Ugo Chuku, make sure, hold your ears. Mama said, I am holding my... She said, no, 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 no. Hold your ears wide Very open. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> he said, do not come back here again without a wife. Ha. Do not come back here without my daughter-in-law. That angel with a golden voice. I kept on asking, what did you put in your voice that day you spoke with Mama? <laughs> because it's unusual. Since Mama heard your voice, Mama has been asked, Mama has been saying, bring her home. Don't come back here without, without, her, without your uh, wife. That's my daughter-in-law. <laughs> that her voice sounds like Onye Kowen, the way she spoke to me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Hey. That she's going to flog me 12 strokes of cane. If I don't come back with you. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> and then I said to myself, this woman, you don't need to say more because this girl right here is, are, are you sure they are not the one coming? It's Mama. Mama is trying to go for a I said this. We are on our way, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, Woo! hope I, you look good. Of course, you look good. Look. She's going to dance for She has one of her signature dance that she was like, <laughs> so so happy. <laughs> so so happy. Baby, Mama loves you. I love her too. I can't wait to meet her. Of course, my love. Of course. I'm nervous. I mean, I mean, I have this mixed feeling. Like, is she going to like, like, in real life? She is, she likes me already. Like, if she sees me, she going to. Leave Mama me. She said to... she prayed, she fasted, and God Almighty revealed to her that you. I'm my wife. So there is no way, it's a spiritual thing. There's no way Mama will see you now. And, uh, so don't worry about that. I will just be ready to dance. <laughs> because I know she'll want to dance with oh, you. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what you put in your voice. That you know, after speaking with her, she called me again and said, Are you close? I said, No, you've left. I said, How can? Give her phone. I want to hear her voice again. Uh -uh. I said, Mama, she just left. She said, Okay, please. What did you put in your What did you add in your What did you add in your stew? She'll be so happy, so happy to see you. I can't wait. We are almost, we are like a few minutes away from you, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Whew. What did you add in your stew? Ugo Chuku, hold your ears. Yes. I said, Mama, I'm holding it. He said, he said, no, you're not holding it. You think I can't see you from here? Hold, Hold your it very ear. well. I said, Mama, I'm holding it. <laughs> Make sure you don't come back to the village without, without my daughter-in-law. Without <laughs> my daughter-in-law. <laughs> yeah, Mama, okay, no problems. I will. Okay, this is where we turn. And we are close by. <sighs> My angel is coming back home. Finally.
Open the door. Mama, there's nobody in the car. What are you talking about? Eh? Go to. Mama. Did it? Did it? it pass. Are you sure you drove in with her? Mama, are you the one saying this? Of course I did. Okay. Then where is she? Get me a
This is really strange. How can someone I drove into this compound with disappear into thin air without no traces? I'm even calling her lines and switched off. Shut your mouth. Mama. I said shut up. Good who listen. Whichever game you are up with, you will not succeed. Not when I, Elizabeth, your mother, is still alive. Mama, I am telling you the truth. I drove into this compound with her. I told her to sit right there while I greet you. I'm telling you the truth. Shut your mouth, I said. Shut up. name has come over my son. What has come over our children of this day? But who are you going to lie to every other person out there and still lie to me, your mother, who carried you for nine months in our womb? Mama, I am telling you the truth. Shut I... up! How could you be this insensitive to the feeling of a mother? How could you be this insensitive to the feeling of a mother who wants the best for her only surviving son? Who could you put the wrong choice of a woman your twin brother made claimed his life? The only brother you ever had. The same woman issue led to your father's death. That same wrong choice of a woman kept me in this condition till now. And now you want to allow that which the Lord has brought to your doorstep on a platter of gold to slip away because of your insensitivity to the most sensitive things that matters in life. Have I ever lied to you before? Mama, I am telling you the gospel truth. I drove into this compound with her. I cannot lie to you. Then where is she? I don't know, Mama. I don't know. I, I don't know. Where is the young lady? Did she suddenly develop wings and fly away to the wings? Or probably turned into a ghost that appears and disappears at will? Just so I resound this to your ears. It took me six years. Six good years of consistent fasting and prayers to the Almighty to bring forth my son's life partner since your brother and my husband passed away. And now he has answered us and you wanted to sleep away because of your dirty games, Gochuku. What do you want me dead? Do you want me to be in my grave early? Hi! Mama! 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 That is Brody Luca, Brody K's best friend. 
I believe you know him very well. He was staying with him in the city before his death. Although he was not around the very day it happened. Brother Ike was the one who took care of his bills. He was his backbone. Hearing the news of his death left a look up broken. And for six years now, he has taken it a responsibility to make sure no weed grows around his grave. He mourns his friend with a broken heart every day that passes by. Brother Ike's death is such a tragedy that cannot be wiped off the sense of time. Mama never liked that woman he chose for a wife. Her spirit never accepted her. Although we saw her only once when we visited the city. <sighs> Mama saw it in a vision that Brother Ike would die by her hands even before the marriage if they should continue with the relationship. And to crown it all, we heard from a very reliable source of how she flirts around with different men. In Mama's words, this is not my son's wife. We tried. We did everything we could to end their relationship. But all our efforts seemed futile. Brother Ike was stubborn to the bones. The day he died, Mama dreamt of it. How he was poisoned. We tried calling him, but he wasn't taking his calls. The following morning, we rushed the city, only to find Brother Ike lying dead on his bed. It was later confirmed by the autopsy department that he was poisoned. That woman killed my brother. That way, what woman killed my brother for her own selfish purposes? Maybe to run away with his wealth. She killed him and disappeared. She was on the run for weeks. It was during the process of chasing after her when she surfaced that Mama fell down and got her bones dislocated. The news of Mama being hospitalized in the city and Brother Ike's death led to Papa's death too. He fainted and was rushed to the village clinic but could not make it. The evil woman who is behind all this is still on the run till date. You were out of the country when all this happened. And I know When you returned a few months ago, 
in search for a wife down here. Hearing this story definitely sounded like a fairy tale to you. But it's real. I know that if you had been around, you would have made it a priority to bring down whoever it was that brought this pain on us. I know what you can do. Brother Oko, I plead with you. Whatever it is Mama is doing now, she is doing for your own good. Our good. Mama wasn't lying when she said she fasted and prayed ceaselessly for you this past six years. Just so you don't make the same mistake Brother Ikejuku made. The same thing she does for everybody in this village that comes to her for counseling and prayers. Her words do come to pass. Whatever she says happens exactly how she said it. It's true we haven't seen this your choice of woman. But when Mama said she prayed about it as soon as she heard her voice over the phone and it was revealed to her that she is the right woman for you then you should mark it a full stop. Do not waste time any further else you will lose her. I promise to do whatever it is within my powers to ensure you bring home the right woman. But I want you to make me a promise that you will be with me on this. A promise. It is a spiritual partnership, a communion of the body, mind and soul. Look around the world today. You will see lots of broken homes here and there. Lots of failed marriages. Reason, not far-fetched. However, I will tell you why. A lot are married to the wrong woman or to the wrong man. One whom they are not destined to be with. Simply because they refuse to pay attention to that which matters most before marriage. Unseasoned prayers. Yes, the prayers. Pray that God gives you that one whom you are destined to be with. That is the only way you can enjoy your marriage. That is the only way you can pull through the storm when the trials come and still be together, moving on happily. Because your souls have been sealed in the spiritual realm as one. My dears, the choice of a life partner is worth fighting for. Yes, it is. I do all I do today because I love you and I do not want you to end up like your twin brother Ikechu. And this is not a case of the parents forcing their son to get married to whom 
he has not found love with. You found her. She found you. You both found each other in the physical. And I, your mother, prayed and connected you both in the spiritual realm. And God revealed to me that that woman whom I have heard her voice over the phone, that one whom you have professed love to is your wife, Gochoko. Biko, bring that one home for me to bless your union with her. I am begging you, unless you choose to do otherwise, unless you want to see your mother go to her grave untimely, Unless you want to end up with a wrong choice of a woman and my heart will never be at peace. Don't say that. You're going to be alive to carry your grandchildren. Speak no more, please. Inasmuch as what happened here today remains strange to me. I want to let you know that I'm with you on this. Look, Mama. I have come to love this woman. I love her with everything in me. And I've made up my mind to make her my wife. I'm glad. I'm glad that you accepted her even without seeing her. It's a plus. It's everything we pray for. To have a spiritual mother that backs her children up with prayers. A mom that prays for the well-being of her children. A mom that prays for the growth of our children is, is everything, Mama. I also want to let you know that with everything you said here today, it has made me understand marriage from a different perspective. I have come to see marriage differently. And I promise you that I will keep to all you've said for a blissful home. Please. And I promise I'll make it up to you. I am going to bring that woman that I want to marry. You are going to give us that blessing he went to advise us to get on how to have a blissful home. That I promise, Mama. Please. Don't feel bad. Just give me a small time. And we all will be happy again. Please.
Babe, calm down. I can't hear you. Slow. How? When? How? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. So where are you now? Where are you? Okay. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. I'm driving to you. I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming.
serious. Same family. Their son died in your hands. I love him. Tacha, I love Ugo. I love him with my life. Why has the event of the past decided to visit me at this very wrong time? I love Ugo so much. He is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. He's the love of my life. Love. <laughs> love, you say, my friend. You are still here talking about love. When you should be on your way to church for a Thanksgiving service for leaving that village alive. Have you forgotten? Six years ago, you were almost killed by that family for having a hand in the death of their son. That I don't think you have forgotten in a hurry. Come to think of it. Isn't that the same woman? The one you told me that's the woman of God. Yes. The one you told me that prayed for years for a choice of a life partner for her son, according to your man. The same woman you spoke to over the phone that confirmed you are the one for her son. That prayed and prayed and pressurized her son to bring you home for marriage. Same person she believed killed her son is turning now to be her other son's wife. Confused. Honestly, I am confused. Girlfriend, I am not confused. Something is wrong somewhere. Could this be a setup? Mama has never been this serious over an issue. She she thinks Brother Ugo is playing tricks on her, or probably doubting her. Is he? Why would he? Why would Brother Ugo, of all people, doubt your mother? <laughs> or is it news to him that your mother is that one person that almost everybody in the entire village run up to for spiritual matters or interpretation of dreams? And it always turns out just like she has said. <laughs> Why would he? He shouldn't. She shouldn't. And his son never agrees. <laughs> yes, they don't. I mean, wait. I actually wonder when my brother is going to bring a woman home for a wife. I mean, ever since that woman gave birth to the little child and abandoned him and the little baby for a rich man, my brother has hated women passionately. But I think he should not generalize it. You know, the little boy needs a stepmom. Maybe a stepmother's love will put a stop to his strange behaviors. And the fact that he's even dumb is not as well known helping matters. Because the little boy most times he stays into space. And then a close look at him will tell that he has a lot to say but couldn't. Huh. 
sounds strange, no? <laughs> of course it is. Anyways, it's fine. No, yeah. Tell me you want to. <laughs> just now, you just. My came. mother will be waiting for me. It's fine. It's fine. I'll see you. Don't worry, I'll come and look for you in my house. I come and start going. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Bye, that's You don't 
It's okay. I believe that very soon, Brother Ugo will come back with her. And this time around, no tricks. Have you seen your friend Mary? Have I seen my friend? Last I checked, you both traveled to the village to see your mom. Where is my friend? Where is Mary? Who go? Yeah, um... I really don't know what is going on. Please don't scare me. We drove down to the village. Okay. Right into my father's compound. Mm -hmm. Before I know it, Mary disappeared. Oh my God. Up till now, I've not heard from her. <laughs> Please tell me. Are, are you joking? What are you saying? What are, I don't understand what you're talking about. Come on, how can I be joking with such a thing? <laughs> if you're trying to call her, her phone lines are off. This is not good. Police, I, I, we, we need to do something, right? I'm trying to report to the police. Ugo, this is strange. All my life, I have never met someone with a beautiful heart as that lady. She's the reason I'm still alive today. Back in the States, I was so unfortunate. A wanderer I was. I nearly gave up my life from one trouble to another. I was almost killed for a crime I did not commit. Not until she showed up. She fought for me with everything in her, like we've known each other for a very long time. Because at that time she She has some, some people in the authorities. She risked being tagged alongside a criminal because that was a crime I was accused of. Uh -huh. It worked like magic. I was vindicated, set free. When I asked her why she decided to go all out for a total stranger, in her words, help people whenever you can. 
be nice to people whenever you're opportune to. Because no one knows tomorrow. So we became friends. Even though after some time we lost contact. And after some time again we, we reconnected. That was when I said to myself, I, I would never let this woman go again. She stole my heart. We bonded. We became very close friends. That we started talking about marriage. So on the faithful day, we agreed that I have to take her to see my mother because my mother won't let me rest after she heard her voice on the phone. Now this is the part that is confusing. This is the part that I, I cannot understand. The moment we drove into our compound in the village, she disappeared into thin air. Like. I really don't understand. I can't place my head like it looks like everything is, is a dream. I can't wrap my head around this. Is this a dream or something? Seriously, Ugo. At this juncture, I am dumbfounded. The following planet I traveled in. So maybe I was a tattered so I could notice. If it in the hand, you get a habit of bigger. Where to get away my fall with some blood. And when the empty fingers they could do so I lost it. It was combat. And the dead. I kept not to do the hard work. After two weeks, the horse became brown that I killed. I poisoned my voice in the It was a lucky damn shame. 